Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking Android box. It is done by a company called Pandu and it is modeled X11 Pro. It comes with 4 GB of RAM and 32 GB internal storage. And it is the AM Logic version. There are different versions of the same box that will bring you the rock chip and also all winner but this one is a little bit different. Let's see what it's gonna bring on a table for us. I do not wanna forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon and select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. Also, click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make this type of video quickly for you. Except that you can see that the box is really nicely designed. It just have some little marks in the front that looks like some monster. And in the back, you just have a little sticker. And then once we open the box, and we take everything one by one out, here are all the components that are part of this box. It comes with a user manual, which is very basic. It has some little detailed information in it on how you can connect it. And also some troubleshooting steps, which are written on one page. I have to mention that it is a little bit too small. And if you do want us to scan this and put it as PDF on our website, do request at the bottom of the video. It also comes with a IR remote, which do take two AAA batteries, not included in the box, but you can see on the top, it has a nice indicator. And then you have all the buttons that you want to function your box with. But remember that we are in 2020 and all the box should have a air mouse remote. Now these guys have done that for us, which will be coming next. And here's the best part. They have sent us this nice looking looks like a mini i8 remote and yes there is a dongle that you have to connect to your box in order for it to work and if ever the actual battery dies on this you can easily remove it and purchase a new one and hook it up and it will work but the best part is that this remote is going to be rechargeable the next thing that comes with it is one hdmi wire and we cannot really tell if it is 1.4 or 2.0 now this time in this box they have sent us a little bit different connectors you can see on one side this is be going to be connected to the box and the other side is just a usb connection now with that they also sent us this little connector which is created for canada and united states it is 5 volt 3 amps so it's a little bit higher voltage than the other boxes make sure you do not misplace this you really need this all right, going back into the remote itself. So it does come with a little wire for charging. One side is micro USB connector and then the other side is USB 2.0. So you can charge it. And also inside of the plastic, you get a little manual for it and what it will work with. So you can see that it is not only going to work with your actual box, but it also going to work with these. It also going to work with your gaming system. Now there are some information written in the actual manual, but we will try to cover and also going to teach you some little tricks. Hope we will be able to cover everything in this video. If we didn't, don't worry. Request at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out with that. Another part is the maintenance itself. The information is there if you ever needed support. Now this remote is a little bit different than the actual other ones. As you can see, it is touch and you can use two fingers or even three fingers to go around. But again, you can see it's so small, but you can use one finger to in order to select something on the screen and then tap it makes it a lot easier. The full navigation keys on one side and then your whole media player buttons on the other side. And also you have volume up, volume down, escape, and also you wanna go one chapter next and also play and pause right in the middle the best part is the full quad keyboard is right in the bottom part of it and you have all of the functions there with the actual function 
button. And if you ever wanted to use this on Windows computer, that's going to work because you have all of the buttons set up there too. And also it has the backlit. I have to charge this before we can use it, but this is how it really looks. And then going on the top, you do have the buttons on the top, the right and the left one. So this one also going to work as a, this one is a little bit hard, but there is a turn on and off. And then you also have the charging connection right on the top. Now, if we go on the bottom, there's nothing there, but the best part is the way that they have designed the back. These little parts are awesome because it really holds to your hand and it doesn't slip away when you are holding it. And it looks like it, they give you a fact that this is leather, but it is not, it's just really plastic and it's awesome. So when you are using it, you can, Put your take your dongle from here hook it up to your box i will show that too but except that everything sits here and if you want to take it away to another box easily put the usb back into this so you cannot misplace it but this is the beauty of it all right so we will go next and also show you exactly what type of colors you will get in a dark room and also how it will work and we can take this little button back out See, here's the best part about this remote itself you have a little button on the top that you have to turn on and then you can see the colors are just flickering. That's the best part. Now here is how I was able to change some of the colors in the background, except that it's just running. So press function and then press the power, this little light button. And then you can see that it changes to different colors, which is beautiful. Now if I press it again, again, it changes a little bit different. So just like one of those computer keyboards or gaming keyboards that are out there, you can play with it and this will really help you out. Now, if you want to totally turn it off, you got to press it a few times like right now I did in order for it to turn off. Now, remember this blue light means you have charge and this one means that the dongle is not connected to your box. That's where you get that. But here you go, a few more seconds. I want to play with this a little more. So you can go here and there you go. Now it is on and you can play with it for a few seconds. So you can see that it only changes a few different colors and doesn't have a lot of different type of settings for this. But again, with this remote, you're not gonna do anything wrong with it. Now here is the actual box. It's sitting inside of a nice plastic that we're going to take out. All right, so here's the box. On the top, you have a nice picture and then it also indicates the name and the model number. And it does indicate that this is 4K Ultra HD box. Now going to the front part of it, you have nothing but just a little indicator that you can see through that when you turn it on, it will turn blue. Now going on one side of it, we will open this little antenna, but you can see through it that there is a lot of holes for ventilation and you also have one TF card reader, which can read up to 64 gigabyte. Then you have the antenna itself for the Wi-Fi. Go on in the back part of it, you have a little connection for AV port, so this we can connect it to older type of TV. The connector is not included in the box. You have two USB 2.0 ports, then you have a LAN connection. You also have a HDMI connection and also you have the power connection. Going on the other side of it, you have more holes for ventilation. You can see through and also you have one USB 3.0 connection, which is mandatory these days. Now going on the bottom part of it, you have a few stickers and then you also have some little legs. There are four little legs so it can stand up on a flat surface. Except that it looks very, very nice. And here you go. Let's get this connected. All right, so let's take the dongle out of the remote so we can use it. And connect the back. And then we will connect the dongle first. for the remote and now we will connect the power. All right, so first we're going to connect the HDMI and then the power. You will see that it says boot and it is not flickering like how you see it on the screen. It is very solid and once it gets connected and there you go, once it's turned on, it will show you the time. Now this time is taken from the internet, so don't worry, it will be accurate time unless you're running a VPN or something, then it will be off. Now, once you turn on the actual box, you will see their logo, it's full screen. I really like that. And then it goes to an animation. First of all, you can see that the UI is really nice. 
and I wanted to cover that first. I am connected via LAN connection, you can see on the top. And then when you go to the side, you can see that this little thing comes up and that's how you're going to be able to kill all the apps that are running in the background. So you just have to go to the right and then click on this little trash can and it will be able to close all the apps in the background. One more thing I want to mention is while we were going through this, we start noticing little differences. So we will go through it and then we will mention it one by one that what we noticed. All right, so first thing that we're gonna go to is going to be AID64. First thing first on the system, you can see it says TV, the manufacturer is AM Logic. The model number is called Pandu X11 Pro and also the brand name is there, the motherboard brand is there. Going down, you, you can see that it talks about RAM. It is four gigabyte of RAM. And then going down, the internal storage is 32 gigabyte and about 22 gigabyte is available. On top of that, it is running Bluetooth 4 Plus, which is 4.1. It can be 4.2. Going under CPU itself, it is ARM Cortex A53, which is running on 1512 megahertz. It is a 64-bit ARM, but it is running on 32-bit, the way that they have designed this OS itself. And also the ones, all the cores and the ones that are running and sleeping. The good part is that they're all running on really low speeds, and that can be because of the heat. Now you can see the CPU utilization is very low because I'm not running anything on it at the moment, but you can go on a top and go on the display. You can see that it is running on 720p. The GPU on this is Moly G31 and it is running on 60 Hertz. The OpenGL version on this is 3.2, which is really good. Now going under network itself, right now I am connected via LAN, but you can see that the Wi-Fi is there and it is AC Wi-Fi. Under Android itself that it is running Android 10 the api level is 29 which should be very good and it says the device is rooted which is not that bad now going on the terminal you can see the cpu is a little bit hot but it should be okay now going under sensors there's nothing there but going under codex is something i want to cover all the time for you guys is that it will have the mp3 you can see that and going down under the H263, 264, MPEG-4, VP8, and VP9 is right there. So that means it should be able to play the 4K and 10-bit properly. So we will get out of this app. The next thing that we want to go to is going to be Antutu Benchmark. Now we already run it, and this is the number that we got for this box, which is really good number. The next thing that we have run is the Benchmark 5, or it's called Geekbench 5, and we already run it. So we will go under History, and you can see under Single Core, I only received as 102, and under Multi Core, I received 276, which is not that bad. Again, or they can work on it a little more to get it these numbers a little bit better and higher. It looks like once they went to OS 9 and OS 10, everything started decreasing to a smaller number. I hope that they're going to work on this a little more. The next thing we wanna cover is going to be YouTube app. Now under YouTube, there is a lot of things that you can do. Now the one that I wanna mention or I wanna play with is going to be the 4K videos. And you can see that right now it is playing 4K. And once we go to the quality itself you can see it that it can play 4k for you even you are going to broadcast to your tv as a 1080p or 720p it can pull down and play 4k for you without any hesitation or stops the next part is directly from your phone you need to go to this little icon right here and select it's called air screen and then once it comes up it for a first time, it will tell you to set this up so i already set it up it has a name which is showing right on the top and when I go to my video, and this is the YouTube, and once I select, you can see the name comes up, and I have to select my video, and now it just goes through to cast it on the screen. Now, it takes a couple of seconds for it to go through and set it up properly, and then it's going to be able to play it for us, and there you go, and now it is just going to be casted. So there you go, now it is very easy for you to use your volume control on this to bring the volume up or down directly from your phone itself to this. So it makes it very simple to go through and play with it nicely. Now if I have to scan or send, bypass a little bit of the video, it's very easily done here too. But this is how it is done. Alright, so I know that it's uh, just going to be double the voice because that's from the video. 
and this is our voice uh, right, right now that you can listen so we will get out of it all right so the next thing we're going to cover is going to be speed test now we have already did some testing the first thing that we did was our 2.4 network now under 2.4 network itself we only received is 29.6 for download and 22.9 for upload when we did it second time we received 38 for the download and 30.6 for the upload and you can see there's not much fluctuation going through both of them when we went to 5g network we didn't get that much of a difference when we saw we had about 37.6 for the first time and 28.7 for the upload and you can see there's not much fluctuation it was already straight going through and we, we did it for the second time we received similar numbers but a little bit lower which is 33.1 for the download and 26.4 for the upload it was not that much difference again now putting everything aside we went to the LAN connection now you have to understand that this one is only 10100 LAN. I know that we're in 2020. A lot of you guys are going to expect to have a gigabit Ethernet. You don't really need it. But here's the best part. We got 95.3 for the download and we got 32.6 for the upload. That's actually exceeded the number that I have, which is 32. And also for 10100, this is a really good number for the LAN connection. Now, when we did it one more time, we got even better number, which was 96.3 and 32.5. So just a point came down, but you can see there's no fluctuations when we go through any of them. It's automatically just goes up and all the way to the end. So you can see that the LAN part, they have worked really good at it. But when it comes to Wi-Fi, they need to actually work a little bit more to get the proper drivers installed in order to make these numbers a little bit better for the 5G network because it is a little bit lower than what I was expecting. I was really thinking this is going to go over 100 megabit. But again, it will do the job for you if you're streaming or you want to play video games, anything on this will work perfectly because it doesn't really require that much of an internet unless you want to do streaming. So for Wi-Fi, you will be getting your 1080p pictures perfectly. Even if you want to do 4K, most of them should work fine because the maximum download rate that you really require is about 32 to 41 megabit per second all right so we will get out of this too it is a good box if you want to play with a brand new box that have everything up to date as an example you have four gigabyte of ram you have os 10 and also everything is compatible to this then it's a really good box for you the links will be available where you can order it from Except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xedex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.